Charlie. Mr. Guy Griffin, he's got a lot to answer for. William Griffin! What if I'm unable to convince her to do it? There is no other alternative. She must do it. Ah, there you are, Charlie. And you must be Patricia Nielsen. Yes, I am. Did you fake your death, Dr. Griffin? Well, I had every reason to believe my own life was in danger. Didn't you, by doing so, put the lives of others at risk? The Order don't value the lives of anyone who stands in the way. Didn't you yourself endanger the lives of many people by your actions? I thought I was working for the greater good. Do you really believe the Order exists? Of course they exist. You worked for them for several years, didn't you, Dr. Griffin? Oh, yes. Yes, I did. You took part in the abduction of young girls who trusted in you as a doctor, didn't you? No, I had no choice. You tested on trait positive girls for your own financial gain. Isn't that true, Dr. Griffin? Yes, I did. Did you try to make more girls trait positive with your phony blood tests? I did. I tried to create a serum that would turn all girls trait positive. Why do those girls come to you, Dr? They thought they were testing a, a new antibiotic for abnormalities of the womb. When they were unconscious, I injected them with my own serum instead. You evil, crazy old man! Their names are on it. All of them. All of them are taken. No! I don't want this! Side effects. What do you mean side effects? Well, the serum can be supported by their bodies over a long period of time. It starts to mutate and then starts to kill off their immune system. And? And. And they're starting to die one by one, so there isn't much time. How much is not much time, Doctor? Right. How long have they got left, Doctor Griffin? A few months before they all die. And how many of them are there? Six. Fifteen. I'm sick. Child, please. I'm too ill to do this. Please take this. You're too ill. I please don't want take this. this. and help them. I don't want this. Why should I be the one to help them? Why me? Charlie, we can really help some people here. We? He is the one that made them sick. This is not my problem. I will not do it. I'm out of here. I'll find my own way out. Charlie! Come on, Dave. You dropped it. Come on. And so the tale goes on. How can a perfectly reasonable man, a doctor, William Griffin, end up broken? Living like a tramp, hating himself, like a lunatic, surrounded by newspaper cuttings. You keep sending the trains, you keep sending them, I don't care. I can take the noise, I can take it. Charlie's really got herself in it this time. No, she's alright. She got back alright last night, she says she's not going to get involved in it anymore. Of course she's going to get involved. She's gonna go running around looking for all those new trait positive girls and you're gonna chase after her like a little puppy dog. No, I, I'm not stupid. I just, I care about her, that's all. Yeah, you care about her. You really like her. You wanna hold her and save her and protect her from the order. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, just leave me alone. They're not going to get to her through me. They can't get to me because I don't care about anybody. I have no weaknesses. I just had a visit from Patricia Nielsen, the TV journalist woman. She said it's okay to film her. She said she wants you guys to know what's going on. So go on then. What's this all about? I told you I didn't want to see you ever again. I understand that, Charlie, but something's happened. I've been fired. 
I think they really wanted to make the programme, but someone's got to them. What do you mean? They said it was too sensitive. <sighs> that I didn't have enough film evidence and... Film evidence? But Dr Griffin confessed on camera I was there. He said that he made all those girls trait positive. I know he did. But these orders came from above. Look, I want you to have the master tapes, Charlie. You believe in the order now, do you? You believe they got you fired from your big TV corporation job? Seems pretty obvious. Look, Charlie, there's more. Of the list. I told you I'm not going to help find those girls. Well, Charlie, I can't do it. But you've got to at least try and find one of those girls. And here has had a story. Just keep them blogging. You and your friends will be able to find the girls in Brooklyn's list. Please leave. I need you to leave. I can't, okay. I can't just come in here and give me this type of information. All right, I'll go. Leave, please. Think about it, Charlie. Look, it was nice to meet you. Good luck. I'll see myself out. Just when I thought I could go back to having a normal life. It looks like there are still some things I may have to do. It's, it's true what they say. Reality's all relative. Who's to say what's possible and what's impossible, really? No, look at this. This man telepathically transported himself from London to Los Angeles. You see, you can do absolutely anything if you put your mind to it. Absolutely anything. There's all sorts of dimensions that we can slip in and out of. You just look at the freaks on here. You know, they can... Then... Come on then, Kate. I know you're in here. Where are you? Come on, you bitch. I know you're around here somewhere, Kate. I, I know it. Where are you? I looked at the list of girls that Dr. Weirdo said he experimented on. I've decided to visit the first one on the list to see if she remembers anything, so here goes. I hope she's nice. I mean, her name's Janet, she sounds nice. Can I help you? Um, hi. Yeah, I was just wondering if I could please speak to Janet? No. I'm sorry, love. She's, she's a really good one. Oh, she's already gone. But whereabouts has she gone? I really need to talk to her. Well, she's dead now. She died last week. Oh, sorry. I, di I didn't realise. I'm, I'm really sorry. Were you one of her friends who came to the hospital? Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I wasn't. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. Sorry. The first girl on the list is already dead. Dr Griffin's such a coward hiding in here. stolen software, I presume. Sorry, love. 